We propose NERDY, a framework for single-view nerve synthesis with language-guided diffusion as general image priors. We present a single-image nerve synthesis framework for in-the-wild images without 3D supervision by leveraging general priors from large-scale image diffusion models. Given an input image, we optimize for a nerve by minimizing an image distribution loss for arbitrary view renderings, with the diffusion model conditioned on the input image. We design a two-section semantic feature as the conditioning input to the diffusion model. The first section is the image caption S0 which carries the overall semantics, the second section is a text embedding S extracted from the input image with textual inversion, which captures additional visual cues. Our two-section semantic feature provides an appropriate image prior, allowing the synthesis of a realistic nerve coherent to the input image. Despite the difficulty of 2D to 3D mapping for computers, it is actually not a difficult task for human beings. Humans gain knowledge of the 3D world through daily observations and form a common sense of how things should look like and should not look like. Given a specific image, they can quickly narrow down their prior knowledge to the visual input. This makes humans good at solving ill-posed perception problems like single-view 3D reconstruction. Inspired by this, we propose a single-image nerve synthesis framework without 3D supervision by leveraging a large-scale diffusion-based 2D image generation model. We formulate 2D to 3D inference as a condition generation problem, where we generate a 3D scene following a certain 3D distribution, conditioned on that its rendering at a given view P0 should be the input image. Directly learning the 3D scene distribution prior requires large 3D datasets, which is less straightforward to acquire and restrict its application to unseen scene categories. To enable better generalizability to in the wild scenarios, we instead leverage 2D image priors. We represent the underlying 3D scene as a nerve and optimize for its parameters with three losses. A reconstruction loss at the fixed input view, a diffusion loss at arbitrarily sampled views, which also takes a conditioning text input generated from the input image with our two-section feature extraction, and finally, a depth correlation loss at the input view, regularizing the 3D geometry. We introduce a text-based conditioning input as guidance that narrows down the generic prior over natural images to a prior of images related to the input image. The most straightforward way of getting a text prompt from the input image is to use an image captioning or classification network. However, while text description can summarize the semantics of the image, it leaves a huge space of ambiguities, making it hard to include all the visual details in the image, especially with limited prompt length. Textual inversion, on the other hand, optimizes for the text embedding of one or few images from a text-based image diffusion model. As shown in the middle row, the colors and visual cues of the input image are well captured, but the semantics at the macro level is sometimes wrong, like the second column is a person playing sports. To reflect both semantic and visual characteristics of the input image in the novel view synthesis task, we combine these two methods by concatenating their text embeddings to form a joint feature. While image diffusion shapes the appearance of the nerve, multi-view consistency is difficult to enforce, as the underlying 3D geometry can be different, even with the same image rendering. To this end, we further incorporate a geometric regularization term on the input view depth to alleviate this issue. We adopt the Dense Prediction Transformer DPT, model for zero-shot monocular depth estimation on the input image and use it to regularize the nerve rendered depth. Due to the ambiguities of the estimated depth and estimation error, we cannot back project pixels with depth to 3D and compute the regularization directly. Instead, we maximize the Pearson correlation between the estimated depth map and the nerve rendered depth. Here shows our experimental results on in-the-wild images. Our method also addresses the naturally existing ambiguity in novel view inference, especially for the occluded regions in the input view. As a feature or as an inductive bias, such synthesis results are also affected by the 2D distribution from the image diffusion model. For example, when generating images with a text prompt a pumpkin using stable diffusion, half of the generated images are jack-o'-lanterns. This makes our synthesized pumpkin also have the jack-o'-lantern face at its back. Here shows more experimental results in all views.
Thanks for watching.